Good morning, everybody, and welcome in to a Peachy Keen release. It is a Peachy Keen release day today, you guys, and I am coming on to share the new products that are in Kathy and Dave's wonderful Peachy Keen web shop, so peachykeenstamps.com. So um, as you guys know, um, I am in love with Peachy Keen face stamps. And these are just a few of the little tags that I have made over the years using their beautiful faces, okay? And I am coming on today to share some scarecrow faces, among other things, that are being released in their shop. But I love the versatility of their faces. You can make anything from angels to gingers to... Um, you know, just so many different things. Uh, you've seen me use them on snowmen and uh, penguins and animals, bears, just all sorts of different things, babies. Um, so many things you can do with them. And then Kathy also just draws incredible stamps. This is a beautiful uh, set that's available in her store right now, and it makes this adorable penguin. And she made a magnet with it and sent this to me in my design team package. So you guys saw me share a card with this um, on a previous episode of Saturday Morning Makes, actually. And uh, this is one that she did the coloring on. And look at that shading, you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? I love how she did the beak and the face and the cheeks. So she sent this. This is going up on my refrigerator. Thank you, Kathy, for sharing that with me. So um, this just gives you a little, um, you know, just some ideas on what you can do with these face stamps. But today we're specifically coming on uh, to share the new releases. And for all of you that were waiting for Scarecrow Faces, my friend Kelly in Idaho and several other people that have mes messaged me, um, asking when Kathy was going to release the Scarecrow stamps. So Kathy and I um, are always chit-chatting back and forth. Um, hello, Kathy. Good morning to you and Dave. And uh, we are so excited that these stamps are out. So today there are three different Scarecrow face sets that are being released, among other things. But I want to start with this one because this one is actually co coordinates with the Open Gingerbread Die set that came out a couple weeks back. Okay, so this one is called PK2537. It's the Assorted Scarecrow Faces stamp set. And these are so that each um, one of these will fit one of those three gingerbread dies, okay? So that you can make scarecrows out of your gingerbread. And um, so this is the face that you remember. This four inch, this was a four inch face that she re released digitally last year because we ran out of time to make these stamp sets last Halloween. So now we're releasing them not only this face, but she has drawn some new faces also. So each one of these it has all three of the stamp sizes so that you can fit them on the gingerbreads. Okay, so each of those faces comes in all three of the sizes. Isn't that neat? So I just love this set. Such really cute little faces. And this one just makes me smile. <laughs> they all do. Oh my gosh, I love this one too. And that's the one from last year with the little candy corn nose. I just love that. So this is the first set. Um, and again, it coordinates with these um, with this die set that's in her shop right now. This is the frosting plate die that makes the frosting for all the gingers, both boys and girls. Okay. Um, the other set that's coming out that's gingerbread related is PK3011. This is called Henry Scarecrow. And this one has a three inch, a two and a half inch, and a two inch stamp set along with some accessories, some buttons that you can use to decorate when you're making your scarecrows. So these are different things that you can um, stamp and cut out to make uh, different types of scarecrows or really to use with anything that you're making, okay? And uh, this was the set that was, this was the stamp that was digital last year and now of course you're getting the chance to purchase it in polymer. So that's that one. Then we have PK3012, which is Jack Scarecrow. Okay, and this one comes with candy corn, some stitched stars, and then this adorable face. I love the eyes on this one, and I just love how she did the stitching on the mouth. Isn't that adorable? So this is what this one looks like from the back. And then um, the next set that she released also coordinates with the open gingerbread dies. And uh, this one is PK2535, and it's the assorted gingerbread faces. So you can see the different faces she has one of each size to fit the gingers. Okay, I love this little eyelash smiley face. So just adorable set, you guys. I love this one too. And I'm trying to remember if I, did I use this one? 
I might have used this face. I did. I, I was playing, when I first got this set, I was just thinking sunflowers for some reason when I looked at this face. And so I was playing around, and I think if I did this again, I would pop up an inner circle and have that face pop up even higher on the sunflower. These were some scraps that were on my desk, and I just made a sunflower using that face. So you can do so many different things with these stamp sets. Oh my goodness. Then she's releasing the PK2536, which is the assorted snow faces. And again, these are made to coordinate with these gingerbread dies. So you cut the gingerbread dies out in white, and then you can use all the snowman faces. Look at the squenched up eyes on this one. You can use all these snowman faces to create the um, snowmen using the gingerbread dies. Okay, so adorable. Then we have PK1984. These are the youngins uh, face samplers. Okay, and she ha she's doing PK1984, 1982, and 1980. Okay, and uh, I have seen these, uh, there's a video out on YouTube from a while back where a lady was making um, baby tags for a baby shower and she used these faces to create these cute baby tags. And I just love these sets. And uh, these also, if you look closely, they have like a duck, a penguin face, a bear face, just different faces that you can use on different animals and stuff too. So there's just so many things you can do with these, um, these three sets too. And uh, I didn't do samples of this. I'm hoping to do some samples later on. So again, these are the youngins samplers, okay? And there's three different sizes, all right? <clears throat> and then the last two things I wanna share, she is, uh, Kathy and Dave are re-releasing this PSC, um, PKSC uh, 11, November 2012. Okay, so PKSC 11, November 2012. And uh, this has the cutest little jolly elves in it. And these actually remind me of Kathy. Um, these are just so adorable. And then she also has these two reindeer in here. And this set really has everything you need to make cards. The, the elves come without the faces. She's showing them with the faces here, but the faces are here so you can pick whatever face you wanna use on it. And then I love this oh joy sentiment. I think that's awesome. Um, and then she has all sorts of Christmas ones. This one cracks me up, save Santa a stop, be naughty. This reminds me of my sister Joanna. Um, <laughs> but um, there's just so many things. There's a few for the deer. There's for my handsome buck and for my sweet little deer. So those go with these little deer right here, which are so cute. Look at the faces on these. So again, you can put faces, um, you know, the, the deer have the nose and stuff, but you're adding the faces for the deer and they're up in here. Um, and then, uh, so this just kind of lets you see everything, um, you know. And what's neat is you can stamp the elves with just a glove. Like say you wanted the him the elf to hold a cup of hot cocoa. You can stamp it with just the glove and add whatever you want or you can stamp it with the candy. So you can see she's got the stamp for the candy and then you can just do a plain glove if you want to have it holding something else, you know, or even have it like petting the reindeer or something. So this is just a wonderful, this is one of their monthly kits from November 2012, and it's such a cute one. And um, I just love the quality of their photopolymer too. And uh, these are, this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous set. So um, this is in the store also. And then I wanted to mention this set just because um, if you watched Felicia's channel, who is Bible Scraps here on YouTube, this was a set that she really wanted to have these faces back. And uh, this was um, something that she worked with, uh, asked Kathy if Kathy could bring it back. So Kathy sent me this set too, just to make sure that everybody could hear about it. Um, but I'm sure Bible Scraps has way more followers than me, so you probably have already heard about it. Um, but this one is PKK02, and it's faces it's set of six four-inch gingerbread faces. The stamps are actually three-inch, but they're made to fit on like a four-inch round tag. And they're very similar, like I'll show you. Um, so this one is the same as um, the one that's in my Jill's bigger favorites, okay? And then... Um, I think I had one other out here. Um, this is the one where the tongue is slurping here. And these are in my Jill's bigger favorites, but you can see how you can use just a round circle die to create the tags, okay? And they're made to fit. Um, you can see the difference. This is a three inch circle and this is a four inch circle. So I just wanted to kind of show that to you so you can kind of see. But I want to invite you to go over to Felicia's channel, Bible Scraps, because she has a really cute project that she did using uh, this stamp set. 
Okay, so this is available in her store um, this weekend. All of these are on the site as of, um, I'm filming this on Friday night. All the um, stamps are in the store right now, so you can go and take a look and be able to see everything. And I just wanted to come on and announce that she still has this available also. This is the gingerbread set, which is uh, PKSD 011. Okay, so this is the die set. And, uh, and then, of course, all of these beautiful gingerbread sets are, are um, scarecrow face sets and gingerbread. And the two monthly kits are also available, or the two bigger stamp sets, okay? Sorry, one's a monthly kit, and one is the one that Felicia wanted brought in back that is the gingerbread faces. So, um, and I know this was a set that Sherry also was interested in back in the day. Um, so this is the release. And really quickly, I'm going to show the projects that I made using this release, but I'm going to do a separate video um, that will explain what I made and how I did it, okay? But these are what I made using the beautiful scarecrow faces. So you can see this fun little scarecrow face. And uh, this is the two inch size, I believe. And uh, I just created this sweet little ha Have a Sweet Halloween card. So there's a sneak peek of this card. And then this is this sweet Have a Sweet Halloween tag. And this is my little scarecrow that I created using this die, the biggest one, the biggest size die. And uh, and then I cut the die out again in uh, a blue gingham paper and I created a set of um, like overalls or coveralls for him to wear. And, uh, and so this is my little um, project, and I'm going to explain all about the, the products I use to make these particular items in my next video, okay? Because I just don't have enough time to do it in, book, you know, to do everything in this one video. And then for those of you that are watching all the way to the end of this video, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek of a project. Um, let's see if I can find it. Here we go. Um, this is a little sneak peek of something that Kathy and I are working on. And uh, so this is just a little sneak peek of a stencil that we're coming out with that allows you to stencil on the gingerbreads, okay? I have a prototype that I am using to practice with, and it allows you to do the hair as well as um, the frosting on the arms and legs, and there's even buttons and a bow tie that you can stencil on. So I am playing with the stencils right now and uh, just trying out different things um, to see how they work. And uh, I thought it might be fun for you guys to just get a little sneak peek of what um, the stencils can do. So uh, they, are, they work for all three sizes of the gingerbread and they will be coming out soon. We just couldn't bring them out today because they haven't arrived yet. But there's a little sneak for those of you that are still watching, okay? And again, I will share all of these, product, these projects in more detail on my next video. I'll tell you how I made them and what I used to create them. But this is the release from Peachy Keen. I wanna thank Kathy and Dave of Peachy Keen Stamps for all that they do to make crafting fun. Um, I'm so glad that they were able to bring out these scarecrows in time for Halloween. So these are the perfect projects for Fall into August with Anna White, her hashtag, and for all everyone else that is sharing wonderful hashtags, um, my friend Claire over in the UK, Mo and Gloria have a hashtag, so check out Mo's Creations and Gloria's channel. Um, and anyone else that has a hashtag, you're always welcome to leave your hashtag in the comments on my um, channel and let people know that you want them to join in your hashtag. Okay. Um, all right, everybody, that is the release from Peachy Keen, and I hope that you will um, hop on over to their store if you're interested in any of these sweet products. Um, I am so excited to have these scarecrows in stamps, these scarecrow faces, and I just, this face is so cute. It just makes me smile. Oh my goodness. And this one too. So I hope you guys will hop on over to Peachy Keen. Kathy and Dave, thank you for everything, and everybody have a wonderful weekend. Bye now.